Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for February March 2024. I'm going to solve the spreadsheet task. The web page task is already done and uploaded. We can find the link in the description. So this is task 5 spreadsheet. You're going to create a spreadsheet to calculate the cost of uh, the safaris for collecting guests. The site will change each day depending on the wind direction. All currency values must be in Tanzanian shillings with two decimal places. So open and examine the file M24 distance. This file will be used in steps 12 and 13. Do not make any changes. Open and examine the file M24 calculate. So these are the two files. Let's make sure all the data are completely visible here. So this data is about um, you can see the CAM code is given and the CAM names are given and here the launch sites are given. Save the M24 calc as spreadsheet with the file name calculate followed by your sender number and candidate number. So let's save this. Calculate followed by your center number and candidate number. Make sure it is saved as Excel workbook. Format the spreadsheet to look like this. So you can see the formatting here. Make sure cells A1 to C1 are merged and have an 18 point black phone on a light blue background. So A1 to C1 should be most light blue background, 18 point font and black. Then all these text in column A are right aligned. And the data in column B are central light. Now there is border for this. Give all borders. All borders here. So the formatting is done. Under your name, center number, candidate number, write a line in the header. So go to insert, header and photo. Give your name, sender number, and candidate number. To normal view, place a formula in cell B6 to look up the name of the lords or camp using the camp code and the external file distance.csp. So in cell B6, we have to find the camp name using the camp code. And the file is given here, distance. 
So here you can see cam code and cam names are given in a vertical table. So let's use a VLOOKUP function equal to VLOOKUP. The lookup value is the CAMP code. The table array will be this table. The column index will be the column from which we need the answer that is the CAMP name that is second column so 2 and then 0. Next, place a formula in cell B7 to look up the distance in miles from the lodge or camp using the launch site and the external file distance.csv. So, from this table, launch site, launch site A, B, C, D are given here. According to this, we have to get the distance and it will be based on the camp code. So, the distance to each camp code is given here. Uh, each camp, uh, if it is 2, you can, and the launch site is uh, B, this will be the value. Now, it is based on this launch site. We can see here the launch site is given, and this table is a horizontal table from which we will be look up, looking up the values from this row. So let's use an HLOOKUP function. So equal to HLOOKUP. Now the lookup value will be the launch site. And the lookup array will be this complete table. Sorry, the lookup value will be launch site and the table array will be this complete table. Now the row index will be based on the cam which we have selected. So you can see if if the camp is 1, the cam codes are given in an order. You can see it is from 1 to 24. So if the cam code is 1, we have to select the data from the third row. That means the CAM code plus 2. If the CAM code is 2, the data should be selected from the fourth row. That means uh, 2 more than the CAM code. So there is a relation here. Uh, the rows will be selected 2 more than the CAM. So we already have the CAM code here. You just give CAM code plus 2. CAM code plus 2 so that it will be selected from the required row and the range lookup will be 0 as we need the exact match. So this is how the formula should be given. Give OK. So the lookup value is B3 that means the launch site and the table array is the distance table this table and now the column row index will be based on the cam code so cam code is 1 means it is in the third row that means 2 more than the cam code now driving time in minutes we have to place a formula in cell b8 to calculate the time in minutes taken for the journey from the lodge or camp to the launch site where the vehicle travels at 20 miles per hour. So the speed is given 20 miles per hour and the uh, formula is given here. It is distance multiplied by 60 divided by 20. So the distance we have calculated here. So equal to distance multiplied by 60 divided by the speed. So the speed is given as 20. Next place a formula in cell B10 to calculate the cost for this journey. It is driving time rounded to the nearest hour multiplied by 2200 
plus the distance in miles multiplied by 800. So this is the driving time. We have to, in order to get them in hours, we have to divide this by 60 and it should be rounded to the nearest hour. So we can give equal to this value divided by 60. So this is the hours. It has to be rounded to the nearest hour. So give a round function comma 0. So this is the driving time rounded to the nearest hour. Now the formula is driving time rounded to the nearest hour multiplied by 2200 plus the distance in miles multiplied by 800. So it will be multiplied by 2200 plus the distance in miles. So this is the distance in miles multiplied by 800. So this is the formula. Apply appropriate formatting to cell B10. So cell B10 is the cost and at the beginning they have told the cost values must be Tanzanian shillings with two decimal places with this symbol PZS. So right click format cells. Go to currency, select Tanz Tanzanian shillings, PZS with two decimal place. Okay. Save your spreadsheet, print your spreadsheet showing the formula. So we have to show the formula. For to show the formula, go to formulas, click on show formula option. So the formula is shown here. Now go to the print option. We have to make sure it is landscape and the row and column headings are shown. So go to page setup in sheet row and column headings. So this is the required printout. Now for the next printout we have to show the values. So remove the formula from here. Make sure all the data is visible. Now file, print. It should be portrait and it should fit on one page. So it's fitting on one page. So this is the require printout. So this is the end of the spreadsheet task. The web page task is done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.